the Zaster Bolt Blood Turn 2 of the Nubinum as Battery Tux. Uh, I don't I don't pick the game names by the way, so that's maybe I'll have to host just to just to do that sometime. But we got our elephants ready to go. Militia's heavy infantry archers, perfect. Arcadas, even wow. Wow, man, I'm liking this start. Oh boy. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to recruit a couple of these elite soldiers just because they are excellent, excellent uh, morale increases. <laughs> this one's the only one that's slightly better. I think I'll get one of him. One of them. These are just bodies to just kind of hang around with my uh, with my guys with the elephants. Um, and they're a bit slow. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. We got any idea? That's a so as a blood nation, you want to look for populations about five thousand, five thousand, seven thousand is the sweet spot uh, to blood hunt mercilessly. So that looks like one percent province. It's right next to our capital, nice and defendable. Also, another lovely thing. Um, I'm in a corner, and that's just that's just amazing. Like if there's a guy right here, I'm gonna kill him and get these wastelands. But actually, there's enough wastelands in this. So another strategy that you can do on Veritas and Tenon is uh, summoning the Seir and the Shedim, um, which the Seir are basically just goat demon berserkers, but they're sacred. So if you take a good bless, they're probably one of the best things that you can summon. It's only two for eight, not bad at all, uh, or eight for two rather, <laughs> eight slaves for two of them. Uh, these are like storm demons, uh, goat storm demons, obviously rock box headed, whatever, goodness. Um, but they're pretty good, I might wind up summoning some of them with some of my blood three uh, brains. But, we'll see. Um, and their reason, by the way, why I'm going to construction four first as the plan is that then I can get winged boots. And with Barry Does' air income, I'm just going to build like four sets of winged boots right from the start, and I'll shuffle them about just so that I can get brides into place to summon demons near the front. That way I don't have to worry about the uh, about getting them all in the position quite so much. Uh, you know, I don't have to ferry them all out from my capital, you know, I build a fort here, fly them all over there, make it here, there's an enemy here. Much easier to attack. Except I'll probably be flying like from here to here and sending demons. Or, you know, the baseline specific ones that I need. So we'll see how that goes. Also, you want to summon one Bruce and Sage? Okay, I guess I don't need that guy. Uh, yeah, that looks like it. Those are some excellent, just, meat shields. Uh, that guy is terrible morale, I do not want him. Uh, I think just a couple of these spearmen might actually be a better choice than an archer. Because why not? <laughs> we can go ahead and shoot our own guys a bit. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, the militia's here. That should be about right. We're gonna see how bad I am at this. Um, he's gonna continue sneaking. Uh, when we conquer this province, we're then going to recruit a commander from it, hopefully. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to waste a mage, mage recruiting turn here. And then we'll send him we'll over. We'll start recruiting elephants. We'll recruit elephants for two turns because I'm just like the overkill. And yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a great expansion force. Okay, uh, that was turn two. Again, these early turns are pretty simple. So I'll well, see you next time.